You can't remember, they said. You have a concussion, they said. It's a trick of your mind, they said. But I do remember. I remember very well. I remember the murder from two years ago. I remember the club. I remember the surveillance of my house. I remember that weird call from the city councilman. I remember my dismissal from the police force. And yes, I remember the assault. The harsh surface of the asphalt when they threw me from my bike. The impact and the burned smell of my skin. And the grinning voice. That f***ing voice. Okay, I think she's dead. But here I am. I'm back. When I think about this place, I feel bile rising in my throat. But I'm back. And I will close this case. My case. I remember. Believe me. I've not forgotten what happened here two years ago. And what it did to me. I will find out about you scumbags. And I'll destroy this shit. So, you meet here tonight? Then I will join the party. <laughs> yes. I remember. A reception area. Nobody here. I guess everybody's inside. Hmm. Huh. Everything's covered in black. <laughs> How elegant. This reads, Private Circle. I remember these dresses. They look like Venetian costumes. Must be their dress code. What is this? A cult? Luckily, the doorman wasn't looking. I got the cloth. I'm sorry. There's no entry into the club tonight. It's private circle. What is this club? What? You don't know? Have you been living under a rock? Everybody knows this place. Um, if everybody knows it, why can't I enter? Not tonight, miss. Every two years, there is a very special, private event. Special? What makes it so special? The guests tonight are... unique. Unique people, unique dress code, unique gathering. Unlike... you. Now piss off already! It reads, Mythological Messengers of the Gods. Traveling Collection of Sculptures. Hmm. This is the House of Arts, a contemporary art museum. But also a luxurious nightclub. I guess all these statues must be part of their current exhibition. A little overbearing, but it fits the scene, I guess. I think this is a statue of Minerva, goddess of warfare. This owl looks weird. Huh. This face is made out of a different material. I guess it's bronze. The bronze part doesn't seem very stable. I guess it was broken and then provisionally fixed. <sighs> I can't tear off the bronze application with my bare hands. statue. It's massive. A little overbearing, but it fits the scene, I guess. Ah, my trusty toolbox. You never know when you need to nail something. Or somebody. I'll take my toolbox, my gloves, and the balaclava. They might be useful.
I'm sorry, there's no entry into the club tonight. It's private circle. Open up. This is the police. Nice try. Where's your badge? Can't find it right now. Quick, there's a danger at hand inside. Nice try. Believe me, we have our own security inside for any problems. Thanks. This owl looks weird. Hmm. Toolbox, this is Owly. Owly, meet my trusty toolbox. Thanks for your face, Owly. Okay, I got the face application from the owl. It looks a little bit like a mask, and it's roughly the size of my head. I think this might come in handy. Hmm, let's see. I have my biking gloves and the balaclava. I have some black cloth and a face from an owl that looks a little bit like a Venetian mask. I think this should be enough for a believable outfit. Or should it? Good evening. Welcome. The gathering has already started. But you're still early enough. Lucky me. <laughs> Come in. Hi. Yes? I think we've met before... outside. I highly doubt that. I would have remembered that terrible costume. Can't you afford something elegant, Warflower? Shit. I'm not believable. I should be more careful with every step I take here. Hey there. <laughs> I hope this will be worth it. How are you? Isn't this a great event, Mr... Uh... <laughs> you don't really believe these people here would tell you their real names, do you? Oh, uh, <clears throat> of course not. But it's obvious that you are Mr... Magnificent. Uh-oh. You got me there, Ms. Marvelous. I'm new to the party. It's my first time here. A virgin. How inspiring. Asshole. Kind of. So, can you tell me who everybody is? Say, are you just trying to sound me out? Me? No. Does it look like it? You look at least a little awkward. Great. From Miss Marvelous to awkward in under a minute. See you later. Huh. Something's going on over there. But this guy is blocking my view. I can't see what he's doing. Huh. Uh, I think he's fiddling with some control panel. I'd better not cause any trouble and let him do his stuff for the moment. Hmm. Most members seem busy. I'd better not disturb their gathering too much. The chandelier looks amazing. It must be very valuable. Hmm. Most members seem busy. I'd better not disturb their gathering too much. Hi. Hello. Hey, where's your mask, party pooper? 
You must be new here. I've worked here for years. I'm the only one without a costume. They must trust you very much, then. Well, I don't know much about all of this. When the ceremony begins, I need to go home anyway. Have you seen that grand chandelier? Isn't it amazing? It is. They bring it in here just for this occasion. I think it's in possession of the group. What's so special about the chandelier? Somebody told me it's over 600 years old. You know, some occult stuff, but it's always a mess when they install it. They use the club's stage motor, but it's nearly too heavy for them, and it always causes problems at first. But it seems to work out at the end, and by the next day, the chandelier has already disappeared. It's crazy. It's my first time here. I really like this club. Let me give you some advice. Don't ask too many questions about these people. Why? I really can't speak for this, but... Did you know there's a secret tunnel connecting this building with the residence of the Bavarian Prime Ministers? It's true, I saw it myself, the Nazis built it. Actually, I think there's a whole system of tunnels connecting many buildings here in Munich. A few years ago, they found Nazi artifacts in there, but nobody talks about it. I think there's something very fishy going on here. No way. That sounds too crazy to be true. That's just what I've heard. What else can you tell me about this group? I told you I'm not allowed to speak, but uh... I believe these people are all very influential persons from the elite. They meet here in Munich every two years. I've heard they're actually the secret Bilderberg group. Come on, you're joking. That's just what I've heard. What else can you tell me about this group? I told you I'm not a- There's a reason why they meet in this building. I know, it's crazy, but it's actually a contemporary art museum, you know? It was built by the Nazis, and it's probably the last remaining grand building from that era here in Munich. I think the members are all very right-wing, but you didn't hear that from me. Honestly, that's hard to believe. That's just what I've heard. What else can you tell me about this group? I told you I- They have this important person they call their master. I've never seen him, but from what I've heard, I think he's a vampire. Honestly, that's hard to believe. That's just what I've heard. So, what's the drink of the evening? It's called Halma. And don't ask me details, I have no idea what it is. But you're the barkeeper. How? I don't mix it. They deliver it in huge canisters. I just pour it into glasses. I have no clue what it is, and honestly, I don't want to know. What else can you tell me about this group? I told you I'm not allowed to speak, but uh, there's a reason why they meet in this building. It was built by the Nazis. I think the members are all- No way. That's just what- Thanks for the nice chit chat. <laughs> That's my profession, miss. Uh, one Halma, please. One Halma, coming up. <clears throat> Tastes like very sweet milk. Weird. But I don't feel anything special. Keep on keeping the bar, barkeeper. I'll do my best. The chandelier is connected to an ancient looking rope. It's connected to some mechanism on the ceiling. It looks unsafe.
Hi. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I mistook you. In fact, I'm searching for a man. So am I, sweetheart. So am I. Hey there. Hmm? Party's okay, huh? Are you kidding? It's our most important event. Don't you have any respect for the group? That's not gonna work that way. Two people from inside have moved outside for a cigarette. Let's see. I'll try to eavesdrop carefully. So, is it fixed now? Yeah, it should be working. Lucky you. Map would be furious if it didn't work tonight. Hey, no worries, it will. This voice, I know it. But he's already pissed because several people stayed at home this time. <gasps> it's him. Because of the incident? That's the one who tried to kill me two years ago. Eh, partly. The councilman decided to stay away. You know, they can bribe the cops, but the press is still nosy. And it's election time soon. He can't afford any negative coverage. His snooty wife is there, though. You can smell her perfume a mile away. Ugh, this abominable virgin coconut perfume. Exactly. Virgin coconut. She loves that shit. You know, I think the whole club smells like the Caribbean for a whole week after just cause of it. You know, if she wasn't such a VIP, I'd throw her ass out. And Lord knows I've sent people to the hospital for less. You've beaten people to the hospital because they stink? Yeah, of course. I've got a sensitive nose after all. And coconut is definitely a fruit from hell. It's only surpassed by the sweat of that sleazy guy she always talks to. The company lawyer? Lawyer. <laughs> if he was a real lawyer, he would put himself in jail. So, what they say about him... Yeah, yeah, it's all true. Hookers, sex trafficking, cocaine, the whole deal. That explains why I never saw him drink much, but he still seemed damn high. Yeah, I mean, it's fucked up, but if the police would have asked for IDs at one of his parties, two-thirds of those girls would have either been minors or illegal. Hell, probably both. What the fuck? Yeah, but I tell you, if I caught this scumbag with my daughter, oh, he wouldn't survive it. And, and neither would I. You know, I'm just an aide, low level, but... These people? They're above the law. Hell, they make the law. Believe me, as soon as you're in the county council, you'll see. And it's best to stay friends with them. As long as you're not a problem for them, they're not a problem for you. And it pays off. You'll see. I can't believe it. Sex trafficking? Councilmen? Drugs? Ugh... What the fuck have I brought myself into? I'm sure nobody minds that I borrowed this chair cover. And I hope it's a sufficient disguise. They're just smoking. No talking anymore. A little overbearing, but if it's a scene, I guess. I've got all I need. Hi. Hello. Tell me again. What's so special about the chandelier? Somebody told me it's over 600 years old. You know, some occult stuff, but it's always a mess when they install it. 
They use the club's stage motor, but it's nearly too heavy for them, and it always causes problems at first. But it seems to work out at the end, and by the next day, the chandelier has already disappeared. It's crazy. Thanks for the nice chit-chat. <laughs> That's my profession, miss. Keep on keeping the bar, barkeeper. I'll do my best. The chandelier is connected to an ancient looking rope. Hey there. Hmm? I'm back. Isn't that magnificent? I would say it's marvelous. My pleasure. I heard you like. Parties with nice girls and uh, drinks like Coke because I like them too. Now, where have you heard that, Ms. Marvelous? Gotcha! Hooked! <laughs> Let's say, I like to know the taste of men I like. Especially the taste of blood when I punch them in their face. I'm all ears. I can organize, you know? You just need to tell me where and when. Since the accident, that's not as easy anymore. We need approval for other gatherings besides this one. I can arrange an application with the admission committee, but we will only be approved if Map signs the leisure time proposition himself. It's still a bureaucracy. I know that the group sets great value on discretion since the accident two years ago, and I can deliver that perfectly. Indeed. That was a mess. If Map needs to fix another one of such events, I don't want to be near him. You talked about Map two times now. That's our leader. The ones close to him call him Map. That's all I know. I guess we'll need to talk to Map then. <laughs> You know as well as I do that only one person tonight will be lucky enough to meet him personally. Yes, and this one will be me. This map must be the one responsible for all of this. I need to meet him and tonight might be my only chance. I will come back to you with the necessary... documents. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Will you be a part of that party, then? Wait and see, Mr. Needy. I will, Miss Tantalizing. When my research is over, you'll be one of the first to go, sicko. Hi. Yes? So, do you dislike the homo as much as I do? Why don't they serve coconut cocktails here instead, right? <laughs> oh, you're so right, darling. I love coconut. It's the best. So what's in the homo, then? They say it's a secret, but that doesn't improve the oversweet taste, honey. As far as I know, they put Indian hemp into it. Besides that bone, of course. Bone? Oh, gosh, darling, didn't they tell you anything? One harmer of this evening will have a small bone in it. They say it's a human bone. Whoever has it will be the chosen one. The chosen one? Oh yes, as soon as the person is selected, then the ceremony will start. And the chosen one will meet our leader. Very interesting. Thanks, I didn't know that. <laughs> So, you know that guy who's smoking outside? You mean Charlie? Charlie. 
So that's the name. We'll meet again, Charlie. Be sure of it. Yeah, right, Charlie. Stay away from him, sweetheart. He's just doing the dirty work here. Nobody you should be around, believe me. Well, thanks for the advice. I think there is some noise outside. Somebody from the club has put the trash bags here. They're full of food trash and empty bottles. And it stinks like hell. But I guess I have no choice. Hmm. Seems they had venison for dinner. The bone is small, but it looks pretty similar to a human bone. Well, let's take it and hope that the others won't smell my little field trip. They're just smoking. No talking anymore. Okay, this is my chance. One Helma, please. One Helma coming up. Let's see. The Homa is prepared with a nice bone from a deer. Let's take it and hit the dance floor, shall we? The chandelier is connected to an ancient looking rope. Hi. Yes? Chin Chin? A la voûte? Cheers. What the? You have it! Usher! The chosen one! Prepare the ritual. Wait. What ritual? Venerable members. The bone has chosen. The chosen one will meet our outstanding master. However, as our immemorial scrolls demand, the Chosen One must prove him or herself worthy. Okay... Chosen One, are you ready? Um... yes? So be it. As is the rule, Failing will mean immediate disintegration. Wait, what? Let it begin. It begins. Yes. Yes. In order to meet our master, you have to answer these four questions. To show your knowledge, acceptance, and faithfulness about our group. Okay, Judith. You can do this. What is the name of our divine liquor? Homa? Name one crucial ingredient of this liquor. Indian hemp. How old is our sacred relic? Over 600 years. Who is responsible for clearance of private get-togethers? The admission committee. Venerable members! As you know, all four questions must have been answered correctly to be worthy. The Chosen One answered all questions correctly. You did very well. 
You will now have the privilege to meet our outstanding master. He's already watching you. As our immemorial scrolls demand, the identity of the Chosen One will now be revealed. Wait, no! You? Time for self-defense. Catch her. <laughs> You're laughing? She infiltrated us. I thought she was taken care of since the incident. But she infiltrated the Gathering Master. I know. Oh, she should have been dead a long time ago. No. What do you mean, no? I need her alive. She's part of it. We need her. And we'll continue to follow her. Judith, you can run. But you cannot hide. The prophecy will be fulfilled soon. We will meet Judith. We will 